Hey guys, it's Dan here for Bluecast Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on um, making realistic and believable explosions inside of After Effects. And um, if you've checked out our channel, you've probably seen this one, Exploding Manholes. And this is basically just a clip I shot in San Francisco, and I make a manhole explode. Um, so basically what it's going to cover is motion tracking and um, compositing a bunch of elements on top of each other to try to get a more uh, sellable effect because too many times I go to YouTube and I just browse around and see people's videos of test explosions and stuff like that and it's usually just a single explosion file like this composited onto something a background plate and it looks cool maybe but it just doesn't look very realistic so I'm just gonna try to give you an overview or somewhere to get started to try to make a realistic explosion and I know this one's not perfect but you'll get the idea hopefully alright so starting right off we're gonna make a new composition um, I'm using HV30 footage HDV so 440 by 1080 1.3 um, pixel aspect ratio 23 frames per second um, I've already got my footage here from the example I'm just gonna copy that and paste it over and then trim my comp to that alright so here we just have some simple footage and um, you're gonna come down here to the tracker if it's not there you go to window tracker and this should come up and then hit track motion and it'll give you a point and we're not going to track rotation or anything just a point so try to find a good track point usually a point of high contrast in your footage and I found that these lines work pretty well so I'll just use this one here and then hit analyze forward alright so once it's done tracking we're going to go to layer, new, null object, and then go down to here, edit target, layer, null to, OK, apply, X and Y, OK. So what this is going to do is just take our track da data and apply it to the null object. So as you can see, the null object is going to stay planted firm, hopefully, in the street there. All right. So now the fun begins. Now that we have our null object tracked, we can start bringing in explosion layers and elements so um, I've got a couple explosions over here I'm using action essentials too really great product you should check it out videocopilot.net um, I'm just gonna stick with my original here explosion one so bring in whichever explosion you feel fits your scene and bring it over I'm going to scale it down. Um, about there is good. Put it over the manhole and then change the parent. Use this little pick whip and drag it to null 2. And that way the explosion will stay in one spot. Now there's a couple things you'll notice. Here, once it starts fading out, it just it's too dark. I, there needs to be kind of a bright glow behind it. So one of the ways I achieve this is I duplicate my footage, uh, control D, and change the mode to add. And that kind of helps brighten it up a little bit without losing all the detail. And if you feel this is too bright, or blown out, you can change the opacity of the added one. So there's about good. Alright, so another thing that's pretty obvious is there's no smoke. So I'm going to grab this wonderful dark smoke layer and this is just slowly rising dark cloud of smoke. Now if we put this over our explosion, drop it behind them to kind of blend it in and then change the parent to the null object, you're going to see that the explosion goes away and the smoke's not really close behind it. We want the smoke to be um, 
covering the explosion once that kind of goes away. So I'm just going to, right about here, we want to see smoke to that level. So I'm going to slide this smoke layer over so that it's kind of already covering the area by the time the um, fire goes away. So that's looking pretty good. And then once it's covered by the um, fire pretty well, you can cut it so that it kind of comes in there. Maybe a little farther over here. And then maybe you want to fade it in with opacity because you can kind of see the sharp edge there. So it's two frames it's over here, plus a zero. That way it just kind of comes in. Um, another thing you'll notice is there's a sharp edge at the bottom there. So we're just going to make a quick mask like that and then change it to go to the mask properties, change it to subtract and then hit F and feather that out a little bit. So that way it just kind of blends in nicer. Alright, so a couple other things we need to add. Um, rubble. Since there's an explosion in the street, there's probably going to be some rubble. So again, using Action Essentials 2, I've got a couple here. I like the cement collapse one. Drag this out. This is the cement wall blowing up. But instead of using the wall part, I'll just kind of hide that in the explosion. So drag it underneath the explosion layer. Oops. And that way it's kind of hidden and then it throws debris out. So obviously we need to parent that to the null object again. So it explodes and debris flies out. Now I think the debris should fly out sooner, kind of in the heat of the explosion. And boom. Maybe a little sooner. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so a few things you'll notice. The rubble's kind of going in front of those people. So this is just a quick demonstration. It's not going to be perfect, but essentially you can just mask these people out. Again, change the mask to subtract and feather it a little bit. So that way it just kind of blends in. Um, another thing we want to do is kind of the cements not exactly matching the color of the cement in the footage so we're gonna just add a curves adjustment to the cement see if we can get it to match more closely maybe darken a little bump the blue up a little bit and that looks a little better all right and it's in the shadow so it's gonna be a little bluey Alright, so that's looking pretty good. We got the explosion, the smoke, the debris flying out, and then we need the um, hole or the rubble or the cracks. So we got, uh, again, using Action Essentials 2, um, big hole 01. We're going to put this underneath all of our layers except our background. Get that position, scale it down a little bit, put it underneath there, scale it a little bit more, and change that to overlay. And that will make a hole. Now we got to parent that once again to our null object so it stays in place. And that's looking a little goofy. Maybe spread it out a little bit blend it in and another thing I added was um, cracks in this pavement in front of it so uh, let's see here's ground crack 02 drag that down and put that over and hit overlay again 